everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am going to show you the top 10 must have essential things that you need to take on your next trip. This has nothing to do with being stylish or fashionable. These are the essentials that you need. I just came off of a 14 day trip and I was so grateful I had these things on my person because you know, sometimes things can happen and you will be very happy that you are prepared. So let's start off with the first thing. I have traveled internationally a ton of times and this time I used a passport holder. This one is from BASE and I just felt that this was designed very well because you open it up, you put your cards here and then you have this little pen holder and then your passport goes here, mine is in the safe because you should always keep your passport in the safe when you're not using it. Very important, whether it be at home or on your trip, you should not have it on you because I do have a story where one time I had it on me and uh, yeah, it got stolen and I was supposed to fly internationally the next day. Well, that didn't happen. All right, now on to the next, drugs. You need to bring the drugs, all the drugs, because you know, sometimes you may want to get high. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. I thought that was a good joke, right? All right, no, I mean drugs. The drugs for your tummy ache, your headache, your allergies, maybe you get some dyers on the plane, you know? You need to have the medication that you are comfortable with using and it needs to be on hand in a moment's notice. This is so important. When I traveled to Hong Kong last year, I forgot my little bag of drugs <laughs> and I got a cold and I was so upset because I had to go in the pharmacy and they didn't have NyQuil and I'm used to taking NyQuil and I had to like figure out what I was supposed to take when I could have fix that issue if I just went on my trip with all of the drugs I love and use. Actually, I am going to include a checklist of the top 10 things in the description below so you guys can print it out and uh, so you don't have to just remember it or jot it down. But yes, bring all your drugs. And I also always bring melatonin. It's an all natural sleep aid because with time changes, you can get really messed up with the jet lag. And I love this. It helps you fall asleep easier and a lot of times stay asleep because you know sometimes you get jet lag and you like wake up in middle of the night or whatnot. So this is included in my drug bag. Ooh, and I got some gas X in there. Didn't use that this time, but I'm sure I will in the future. So this last trip I went on, I was going to Thailand. So hats are very, very important for sun protection. And honestly, one of my most life-saving things that I brought on my trip was the top tote hat clip. You guys, I don't mean to be biased, but this truly saved my trip because I didn't have to carry my hat in my hand on the plane or when I was going somewhere, I just attached it to my bag. And also what's great about the, um, the top tote is the magnet is so crazy strong. Listen to that, it's like a slap. It's so strong that I stacked three hats and Sorry, this is like I'm trying to maneuver. I stack three hats and the top tote held all of them just like that. So can't say enough about it. You know, I just, it's life changing. It's a life changing little gadget. Okay, what's next? Oh, all right, I think a lot of times when we go to warm destinations, we think, oh, all I need is t-shirts and shorts or lightweight dresses. Always, always pack a lightweight long sleeve shirt or I prefer a button up because a lot of times planes get cold or maybe you get a bad sunburn and you wanna kinda of cover up a little bit. Or in my case, when we went to Thailand, we went into a temple, so I needed to wear a long sleeve shirt that covered my shoulders and my arms. So I was so happy to have this. To be honest, I wish I brought more than one. Even when it's like sweltering out, still bring it. I promise you will wear it. Oh, and I'm super fancy for this video with my favorite vacation earrings ever because I wore these on my trip and I just feel like, you know, I'm going somewhere even though I'm not. But I am talking to you guys, so it's worth the occasion to wear them. All right, so, oh, next. It is worth the investment to purchase a functional bag for your trip, not a cheapy, something functional. And on our trip, I brought this tote I bought from Kuyana. And what I love about it is that it has this insert that you can buy separately that has all the compartments, even a compartment for your water bottle. So you can stay easily organized. And I just can't say enough about this bag. It's worth every penny and it just keeps order and it's really quality and I love this bag. And my husband on the trip carried this backpack from base 
seriously, they put a lot of thought into this bag. It has all the pockets that you're needing on your trip. It even has something for your laptop, a side thing for your water, and uh, it's a light color. At first, my husband was like, that looks like a girl bag. I'm like, no, it's just a summer color, and we're going to a tropical destination. You are fine. Okay, sounds simple, but a lip balm with SPF. I think it is one of those things that a lot of times we forget and we get to our destination and we're like, oh, you know, I, I forgot to bring that. So this should be on your checklist, especially also on the plane. A lot of times it gets dry and you're like, and you're like, oh my God, my lips are so dry. I feel like the desert. You will be so happy you have this. So make sure that you buy this guy. And I love this sun bum mineral. It's a good one. All right, antibacterial wipes. I suggest antibacterial wipes over hand sanitizer because when you're traveling, you need a good wipe down. And sometimes I feel like, you know, after you go to the bathroom and you know the dreaded time, there's like no soap in the dispenser or there's, you know, no hand towels. You know, I just feel like that hand sanitizer is not doing the trick. I actually need something to wipe my hands with and throw it away. Also, Kleenex, something I think we easily forget. But a lot of times in international travel, there isn't always toilet paper or Kleenex in the bathroom and you will be happy that you have it. For whatever reason in Thailand, our tour guide told us this as well, in public restrooms, they do not provide toilet paper. So I was so happy that I had this. This next essential is something that again, when you're traveling to hot or humid destinations, you don't think of bringing, but I always suggest bringing a pair of lightweight, breathable pants, whether it is your yoga pants, leggings, or for me, these flowy kind of vacation pants, I like to call them, because I feel like a lot of times, again, it can get cool in the airports, but then, you know, maybe you got a sunburn that day, or maybe you go into an establishment where you're not allowed to show your legs. You know, a lot of times when we travel to these foreign countries, we don't really know what the dress codes are certain places, so I think it's always important no matter what it can be a thousand degrees bring a pair of lightweight pants very important my next tip is kind of a snoozer it's not very exciting it seems kind of like common sense but bring a pair of sneakers for me i like to bring a pair of sneakers that i know i can you know ride a bike in and then also look cute in so for me, that's not necessarily a pair of like, you know, athletic shoes, cause I'm not really an athleisure kind of girl. I'm more of like a fashion sneaker kind of girl. So I brought these white sneakers and I did. I wore them on a bike ride and then I wore them in the airport. And again, even if it is a super hot destination, bring closed toed sneakers, preferably those that you can kind of dress up a little bit and then wear when you're moderately active and uh, you will wear them all the time. So these top 10 things are the foundation of what all of you guys should be packing on your next trip. And I would love to know, are you going on a trip? Please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, each piece that I showed today is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Safe travels, and I'll see you right here next Saturday. Bye, everyone.